just brought this in because I can hear the rumble of thunder. No, that's my tummy. I went for my dinner. <laughs> I'm busy. But this is what our wedding buckets would look like normally. And I am delighted to help you make these for your own gardens and weddings. Hey, these look perky, don't they? After their night in the shower room. It's the coolest place apart from the flower shed. And if anything was going to wilt, and you shouldn't then use it in bouquets, it would have done so by now. So you're pretty safe that these are gonna be all right. Here we are. So first things first, we need to get the flowers out of this bucket. So I'll show you the technique for doing that. And then we need to separate them out so it's easy to grab while you're making. So I've got myself a trug for any stems and leaves. I've got myself four water buckets. So we've got five with this one here, so we can split them right up. And then I've also got a vase full of water for the finished bouquet. Okay, so I have secured you to the wall, so hopefully you can see me. So this is a demonstration about how I'm gonna take the flowers out of the bucket. So I'm literally put my arms round and I'm lifting the whole lot out and I'm going to take them on the grass and lay them out in the shade and then that way you won't pull any of your flower heads off. Okay so here we go they're all laid out so I'm just going to very carefully separate everything out and then put it in the buckets ready for picking for arranging. There we are see everything has now been split up into buckets so I can grab just what I need with one hand. We're gonna need something to tie the bouquet off with. So you can definitely use twine, get your twine cut and ready ahead of time. But if the bouquet is for a wedding or a very special occasion, you don't want those flowers to slip and it can be really annoying when it was just perfect. So I will use a waterproof tape for wedding bouquets. This is made by a company called Oasis Floral. Don't buy the cheap stuff, make sure that you get the branded product. It does make a difference, and this will help keep your flowers anchored in place. Looking for anchor tape anyway, then you might wanna get yourself some buttonhole tape. This is the paper kind. I much prefer this for beginner florists. There is a waxy one that you can also get but I find that that is a little bit more of a faff when you're just starting out. So the paper one is much, much easier. Don't buy the really cheap stuff because it doesn't stick. And that's the most important thing. It needs to hold your uh, stems in place. So go the whole hog and please do buy the branded Oasis Floral. They are not sponsoring me, I promise you. It's just, I know, because I've done it. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put a teeny tiny vase on my table so that if I cut any bits off, which will be perfect for the buttonholes and they've got quite short stems, then I've got this little vase and I'll pop them in there and then we can have a look to see what we've got later on. So I'm gonna start by making sure I clean up all my stems. Now, all of this needs to come off really because you'll end up with a very bulky bouquet and a handful of foliage but these can be set aside ready to go into table arrangements and also your buttonholes so here's a couple that i've already done and you can see that we've just got flowers on the very end of your stems and i've also done the same thing with my focal flowers there we go that's all those cleaned up and you can see look at my little bars it's becoming a little table arrangement already and these are just the leftovers. Are you ready? So this is a water lily dahlia. Um, this is gonna be my focal flower and you can see it's upward facing so it makes it really easy to put into bouquets. And then I'm gonna start with a few items of foliage. So first of all, I've got some apple mint and I'm tucking that in behind the dahlia. Can you see, it looks nice already, doesn't it? Then I'm gonna add some more foliage and I think some Panicum Frosted Explosion. So I'm gonna grab that now, magic them up. I've got them held between my knees. <laughs> so there's your Panicum Frosted Explosion. I really need an assistant, don't I? Where's Neil when you need him? And then I have got some gorgeous apricot status, which I'm gonna tuck in underneath my focal flower. So the whole idea 
is that we're going to be making a cushion of smaller flowers and foliage around the main focal flowers so that you don't end up squashing the focal flowers together that they are able to come out of the bouquet and you can just lift them up a touch come out of the bouquet and breathe and the, they're your expensive queens they're the ones you want to be able to see I'm really enjoying this apricot status so I'm going to add some more of that because I'd like to add in this dahlia here this is um, great silence uh, it's one of ours one of our swan cottage uh, dahlias so I'd like to put that in but it's going to crush can you see the two flowers together especially when you hold them in your hands it's going to crush together so I just need to put some more filler flowers in between and then pop this one in at an angle so I've added in some of the berries, hypopericum berries, and some more statis. I've added a little bit of white so it's not too apricotty, and then we're ready for our next dahlia to just slot in. And can you see now they're resting further apart? So the big flower, focal flowers, are in full view and they're not going to get crushed. Now, at this point, I'm going to add some tape. If you are new to flower arranging, you're probably all fingers and thumbs, and this arrangement can suddenly slip in your hand and then you can never get it back. If you're really pleased with it, it's a good idea to either tie it off with a little bit of twine, just a tiny piece, just so that if the phone rang, you could put the bouquet down. If suddenly somebody needed your attention, you can just pop this into water for half an hour, an hour even, it's absolutely fine. There we go, so I'm just repeating the steps, adding more dahlias to the arrangement. And you can say it looks good from all angles and I've just decided to put in a small weld just to add a different shape. There we are, that is coming along beautifully. Now by now the bouquet is starting to get quite heavy so I find that it's much easier to handle if we take the opportunity now to trim off some of these stems. So I've now added an extra piece of tape just to keep it all secure trimmed the stems of the flowers I've just added and it is sitting very comfortably in my hands. Okay so I am nearly done now so what I'm doing is I'm turning the bouquet round and adding a few airy wispy pieces to the edges just to dress it recommend you do at this stage when you're almost done is to actually just take a break put it in a bucket of water let it rest give yourself a break and then when you come back you'll be able to finish it off without feeling stressed so the bouquet has had a rest and so have i and i've just spent a few minutes turning the bouquet round looking for any gaps adding some filler flowers where necessary because we want the bouquet to look good from every angle because once the bride has finished with it, once the photographs have been taken, you can then transfer the bouquet to a vase and it can be used to dress the top table. Now usually a bouquet has got a very definite front and back so my suggestion for the bride to remember which way she should be holding her bouquet on the day is to put a little pin just where you would think her thumb should go and you use that when you put the ribbon on, use the pin to secure the ribbon and then the bride doesn't need to remember or worry if the flowers are pointing in the right direction. Now this is a very traditional white and peachy bouquet. Here comes Neil. Um, I just wanted to show you that you can add a nice funky twist if you would like and these are some gorgeous dark dahlias but don't put them in the centre of the bouquet because can you see it looks like it's got a hole in it so if you want to add them to your bouquet put them to the edge and can you see that it's really bringing out that white flower there and enhancing the whole arrangement. I'm just getting the shot set up look at that they are just so nice aren't they and you grow them yourself I think it's a bit like veg there is nothing so spectacular as home grown flowers they're getting pollinated in front of our very eyes 